I think we can all agree that testing your strategy that you want to trade with is a vital step in um, your trading career. You don't want to be trading a system or a method that really doesn't have an edge in the market. And one of the ways to find out if you actually have an edge is through back testing. You can also forward test as well in real time in a, in a demo account, but it really helps to be able to use historical data to know that you're not wasting your time on your forward testing because the system has proven itself historically to have an actual edge in the market. And remember, edges are quite small and not every trading system actually has an edge. So you really want to take the time to, to test whatever system you're thinking of using. Forex Tester actually really makes it quicker and easier to do what we have to do. And you could test your system in a half hour. You could test your system in the better part of a day. It just depends on what you're looking for. And with Forex Test, you do get 15 years of historical data. And this is a newer version, number three. And it's a lot simpler than the Forex Tester 2 that I saw a while back. So I'm just gonna walk through quickly how you can set this up to start testing your trading system. First you wanna do is you go to Data Center and you wanna make sure you have some data. Let's just grab the Aussie US right here. And over here we're using this Forex broker, whatever this is. This is just so we, we can get our data. Okay, so we've, we've done this. We're gonna click Update from Server and it's gonna download all the data. So we can pick which days that we want, download new history, right? Or just download part of history. Let's just do this one, download new history, recommend it, will be downloaded part of history from the end of the last update. Um, you know, let's just go here. Let's just go back to 2008. We'll go there, we'll go on the 4th. And just, um, this is being done on the 21st. Let's do it on the 20th. And we're going to download all of this stuff here. We don't really need tick history. Let's just make it quicker. We're going to download one minute history and let's update it. And you can see it's here, it's prepping the data. What I'll do is I'll just pause this video until this uh, updates. Okay, we're almost finished here on the download. Now this data that we're getting right now, this is free. You don't pay extra for this. They have 15 years of data. There are options to purchase uh, other types of data as well. Uh, we'll leave our leverage here at the same. Let's apply our settings, it's done, and we're going to exit. Now, first thing you want to do is now we have to create a project. So let's create our project, new project. Let's just call it um, video, since I'm doing it for video. And it, use your initial deposit. Put it at the amount that you can realistically put towards your trading. There's absolutely no sense to put a $250,000 deposit when you are only have $5,000 to begin trading with. That'll also ensure that you keep uh, risk management under uh, tight wraps, that you're not being uh, ridiculous when it comes to your position sizing. Click Next. We Now we downloaded the Aussie US. Let's just do that. This is the data we have, right? So we've got uh, some data that will cover these dates. We can actually go up to um, yesterday, but we're just going to go through here. Um, we're going to generate ticks by opening that. that sounds mixed point right we're not going to worry about ticks anyways um that's it so let's just hit next this is our time zone start testing from the first date in the range we'll do that and then we're going to hit create now up on here we can use what time frame that we're looking for um trading the forex markets you know a lot of people like to day trade it uh, I much prefer if I'm going to trade currencies to day trade the futures contracts. But let's just use an hour on this. Um, and over here, you could set how often the bars will update. We can do it one minute, so you get a lot of ticks in between. Or you're going to do it um, 15 minutes, so that we'll get, uh, let's do five. All right. Five minutes, which will update the price basically. So you're not getting every minute tick on it because we don't really care about that we're going for an hour and simply over here we have start test and over here we can go how fast now we have no data so there's nothing you can really put on the chart right now you can't put an indicator because it needs previous data so let's just get some data on this chart you see it's just printing here let's just pause for a second so let's say we don't need data let's say we're just looking at this chart right here the price that we have um, and let's say we're looking at this market and we're thinking that we want to trade one of our systems is we're going to look for consolidations 
which we have here. And then we're going to look for breakouts. And the breakout already happened here. But let's just put a, uh, a line through here. And we have the top line right here. So basically what we had here is a ranging market, right? A big thrust into the range. We had this pop above. This is actually a trade setup in itself. But a, a pop above a resistance area and price dropped in. Price broke below the resist uh, the support area and it's consolidating underneath that so let us set an order to short the market below here according to our you know quote unquote our trading system that we we are using so let's just do this you can right click and uh, we're going to sell stop and it's going to bring up this whole little window here so we're going to sell stop here we're going to take our stop loss we just grab this we're going to put it above here and uh, we're going to place our order. We didn't put a profit order in yet, uh, simply because we don't have the, uh, I don't have enough uh, data on the left side to see where we could actually put our profit. So let's just uh, do this and let's just uh, let it continue. Not in the trade, not in the trade. Just going to watch it play out here. And. Not in yet. So we're in a ranging market, obviously, here, which is great because we don't know this coming into this, right? And now it's broken above here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel our order, which is under pending order. Right click, delete pending order. So let's say you're saying, okay, this broke above here. It's consolidating above. So you're going to play a breakout of here. So we can do the same thing. We're going to buy stop. We're going to take this. We're going to set our stop loss way down here place our order this is just an example right we're in our order we're in our order we're in our order and we almost got stopped out and we're out all right so this is how quickly it happens so you go to account history you lost 148 bucks on this trade um and let's say you see this right well, let's just try something different here let's look at some indicators i know a lot of traders like to trade indicators let's look at uh moving averages let's say you want to um trade that pretty popular 930 trading system right let's just change this to an EMA put this on a chart here actually this just showed where the crossovers happened we don't want to see that we want to see everything so let's get rid of that go up to here to insert add indicator we'll make our own so there's our 30 weighted it's right here the green line there and we're going to add one more so it's got all these indicators you can use and you'll see a whole lot of them on the um, the website as well. So that's our 30. So let's get our 9 in here. Let's make it our exponential. And let's just uh, get rid of this color. And we'll make it uh, white just so we can see the difference. All right. So in this trading system, what you're looking for is a crossover and then uh, a pullback into these bands. So we've got the crossovers already happen. So let's just see what happens as we go forward. Nope, price is pulled up into it. Now, depending on what you, how you're going to trade this, let's say that's all you need is a touch of the nine, and you would have shorted it back here. And obviously, we can't do it now, so let's just do it now. So let's just sell stop here. We're going to set our stop loss just above here. Place our order and let her go. Let me slow it down just a little bit. Oh, this is good, right? So let's adjust this. We can actually adjust this now. Our pending order. Because what's happened is price is now pulling back even further. So this is good news for us. So we can actually delete this whole order. We see this pulling back up. Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit more. Oh, there we go. So let's short here. We're going to... Uh, sell stop we're going to set our stop loss just above this test here we're going to place our order actually let's just make this faster we'll go to our take profit we'll just get out here oh execution price too close to market price all right let me just change that up there we go all right let's uh, let her play Mm, look at that. We'll adjust it if it goes above the screen line here. Oh, and it did. 
So we have no trades yet, so we're going to cancel this trade. And it's that simple. So if your trading plan was that you need a cross here and a pullback, and you're going to short one of the candles like this, you can see we didn't get into this. We didn't take any risk on this trade. Let her play out. So let's see if we're going to cross over again. Speed up a little bit. And that's kind of going sideways now. Okay, what do you have here? It didn't cross back up. So we could have shorted this, but let's just short here. This is sell stop there. Hopefully I'm far enough away. We're going to put our stop loss just above here. And we're going to take our profit down here. There we go. And let, let it play out again. So we're in the market. And we're about to get stopped out. And there we go. So we had two losing trades in a row. Now remember, this is an example. Okay, we haven't looked at higher time frames. We have no context here whatsoever. So anyways, we've crossed over. So again, we're just going to let her play out. There's our pullback. Oh. That candle's still forming. All right. So let's just put a buy stop above here. We'll put our stop loss just below here. Place our order. Let her go. We're not in the market yet. Not in the, now we're in the market. Now we're going. Now we're going. And there we go. Finally got some profits going on here. And just as, this is just as simple as uh, as it is in, when you're doing it. It's not a very complicated process here. Uh, it's actually quite boring. Actually, the video is getting kind of long. So we're here. We're here. We're here. And you see we're still crossing up, so let's get out if this candle breaks here. Okay, let's take our, uh, this is modify our open position. We're up 138 bucks. We're just going to modify it. We're going to take our, let's move our stop just underneath here. So if price comes down to there, we're going to get out. Nope, still going up. Pulling back, pulling back. And if the market goes above the high, we'll adjust our stop again. But it looks like uh, now we're in the nighttime session here. Well, let's adjust our stop again. Um, so we've already made up for our, our losing trades, I think. Let's just modify our order. Let's move our stop loss up underneath here and let her go. If it breaks above this high here, we're going to get out of this. We're going to move our stop up even higher. And it did. So let's keep on adjusting our trade. So we're going to modify our order. Now, what I'm doing here, this would be in your trade plan of trailing your stop up. And you just let the market play it out. Now, if we get a big thrusting candle here, like this candle, oh, if that candle would have closed as a bigger candle, which would have shown a little bit of perhaps a climax in the move, we would have uh, been aggressive with our stop. If it breaks above this high, we're going to move our stop again. It's pulling back. We have our our move averages are coming down together here. Let's see what happens here. This video is taking longer than I wanted it to. Oh, as soon as it breaks above that high, oh, there we go. Close enough, right? So what we're going to do? We're going to manage our trade again. We're going to modify it like this. We're going to move our stop loss up to here, but we'll maybe a little bit tighter because we do have this here. And let's see what happens here. And out. And that's pretty much how it is. And eventually what you do is you would print out or you would um, run a diagnosis diagnosis on your on your trading system to see how it turned out for you. So that's as quick and easy as it, uh, as it can be. Uh, know what you want to trade, what kind of system you want to trade, what currency pairs you want to back test it on, what time frame you want to trade. Uh, you can day trade it, obviously. Now, if we would have day traded this, it would have looked a little bit different, right? The prices would have looked a little bit different. We may have had a whole different uh, kind of setups here. And it doesn't matter what kind of system you want to use. All right, so that's it. You can actually download a trial version of this. I have a link below here. You can grab that. And um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, Talk to you soon.